Trinity Western University is a private religious school out in a uh, university out in Langley, British Columbia. They want to have a law school. And in order to have the law school, they have to get accredited. The advocacy groups lobbied the Federation saying, don't accredit uh, TWU because TWU, on its admissions uh, policy, requires students to sign a document saying that they will not engage in sexual practices while they're students that would violate the uh, definition of marriage as one man and one woman. So this is now at the Supreme Court. The argument for equality rights has become inflated, inflated to such a degree that we are now uh, willing to use it as a superior right against the religious freedom right. What's changed has been the definition of marriage. These benchers are saying, look, one said, for example, in Ontario, the fact that we had the redefinition of marriage is the reason why we're here today. If there wasn't this redefinition, chances are we wouldn't have this Trinity Western University case. If Trinity loses, then I'd have to say yes, religious freedom has changed, and dr changed dramatically because suddenly just the mere fact that one is offended by the belief of marriage being traditional marriage between a man and a woman, then suddenly they're claiming the right that they can come in and they can deny accreditation to a religious university. It's a huge change in the attitude of the legal profession which says as a result of this redefinition, we must now challenge your right to practice what you believe on your own religious campus. That is, that is simply unheard of. That is, that's new territory.